Alrighty, guys. So let's just spin the magic wheel. What is it going to be today? Is it a plane? Is it a bird? Today it is another gargoyle weapon, apparently. But does this disappear after burning the earth tree? It does. So we cannot actually play with it today. Day. We are going to have to respin. Gargoyle's halberd will be weapon number 92. So, for the first time, we need to spin the magic wheel again. But finally, it took 90 times to get one of those weapons that disappear after you burn the tree. Wow! <laughs> well, it didn't really get any better. Sentry Torch is instead today's weapon. Then. So our third torch already. Instead of Cargo's Halberd, we get to play with Sentry Torch and pick up Cargo's Halberd on the way. And this also means that we need to kill the fucking Gargoyle with this thing. Great! Sentry Torch can be bought from Hermit Merchant in Hermit's Merchant's shack. The near lane, though. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's a holy torch as well. I can imagine this is going to be absolutely garbage late game. At least we can see see the invisible black knife assassins, right? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find already. ready, so let's just fire up Elden Ring. So, if you are a new viewer, I'm doing this insane challenge where I'm trying to beat the game with every single weapon there is. The idea is that I can use only one weapon per run, but I'm not allowing myself to use any kind of mods or cheats, so I have to acquire each weapon in its natural in-game location. If I need to kill something in order to obtain the weapon, then I can use a different weapon for that purpose. But, if the weapon is only obtainable by defeating a major boss, then I'm doing the run in a new game plus. Before all the new game plus runs, I sell all my items except the weapon and the armor of my choice, to make it as close as possible for a standard new game run. I also randomize the weapon selection every time using my trusty magic wheel. If you like the idea and want to support the challenge, the best way is to give the video a thumbs up, drop your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. But now, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we need faith. I think, yeah, let's go with Confessor. And here we go. Well, we actually have a little bit of a challenge in our hands today. <laughs> Torches that I've used so far have been alright. Nothing great, but I've managed to beat the game fairly easily actually with them. And those were Peace Repellent Torch and uh, the Ghost Flame Torch. This was Smithing Stone weapon, right? Not Somber. I'm pretty sure. Or so Shrapkin it. So what up, soaps? Really? <laughs> really? You don't want to say hi today, huh? I'll make you say hi. Excellent start for today's run. Whiff festival. I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of whiffs today. But drip today. Three sentinel, I guess. Sort of makes sense. But that armor is also really heavy. Would require a lot of endurance. Yes, good point. Took a place. Where else am I gonna put stats into with this weapon? <laughs> just bigger. And I guess endurance. Yeah, that's so far it's just the same than with, with the other torches. Basically the same than our one. <laughs> I'll show you soon. Now, the sentry torch. Or the sentry torch. It's ours. Woohoo. The torch attack just looks like this. It ain't amazing. I think the DPS is actually worse than spamming this instead. Ah yeah, dodge attack description says this skill is especially effective against foes who are weak to fire, which is kind of funny because this weapon doesn't deal fire damage at all. Same with Ghost Flame Torch. <laughs> 15 fades, there we go. Uh, yeah, I think I need vigor. Gonna equip Redicon Saw Seal for now. I think I want the faith here. What was the next thing I wanted to do? Uh, I guess get the Smithing Stones. I need just four more one, seven more twos. Uh, we also need more threes. Yes, I, I can just get the bell bearing. Well, I have money to upgrade, so I might as well do Night Skip Cheese, actually. Of course, now we. Just that first try. I'm gonna go plus nine, as I usually do. It's a Samba weapon. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear, usually when you read these item descriptions here on Fextra, it says here whether it's a smithing stone or Samba weapon. It didn't say it here, so I automatically just assumed that it's a smithing stone weapon. It does say all the way here that it's a Samba, <laughs> Samba weapon. Right. <laughs> well, now we have smithing stones. Why is this a Samba weapon then? 
So, there we go. <laughs> Plus four sentry start. What will I do first? I'll, I'll get the circuit scorpion jump first, actually. A little just bigger. But we want some entrance soon. Well, surely we can kill Anastasia with a plus four sentry torch. Yeah, the damage is okay. Ooh. Really? Fucking roll catches just like that. That's a fucking attack. Get wrecked, nerd. Sacred Scorpion Charm we can get rid of. Radagon Saw still, I guess. Next, the Holy Tier. Deathless run continues here. Yeah. I'm trying my best to keep it ongoing. I will see. Probably my own stupidity kills me. That's the reason, usually. This dude. Remember, we actually don't have fire damage. And it looks like we would have. Oh yeah, the damage ain't amazing here. I guess that's... A lot of fine noise too close to him. Shit. Whiff, whiff. Whiff. Oop. Yeah, this run will take a while. Holy shit, these boss fights will take forever. If this guy takes this long. With a plus form. We could kill patches already. But we can get the shackle and get the armor set. <laughs> there we go. Holy strutting, crack T and fate tier. It's probably gonna be the most difficult patches fight I've done in this challenge. Okay, well, that damage is completely fine. We managed to do it. First try. Woohoo. <laughs> there we go. Market shackle. And now the Heroes Grave. All the armor set. And then we are done with setup finally. For now. Place is quite deadly though. So where do I actually use the shackle is the question. Drop down from where? Shit. Nah, that's gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> yeah. Have to be quicker than that. Oh, there goes Deadless. Right, I need to drop here somewhere. There's something else I need to do. You gotta be. I die from there. Well, we got the armor set. <laughs> Obviously, that was completely intended. This is this was the fastest way possible to do it. Now I can just peace out. It's all planned out. It's actually. Looks better than I thought. We will need to level up more endurance later. Now, oh, I think we're finally ready. Oh, March. Well, it could be worse, I guess. March getting in the all. But there it seems. That was actually a rather smooth march fight. Yes, I got hit a few times, but only because of those faster dagger attacks. I think we might even get Wingshot Insignia today. I'm mean, this 
is the safest option. It's surprisingly fast. So you know what? Let's go get Windsod Insignia right now. How are you doing, friend? Please behave. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's not behaving. Jumping heavies are alright too, I guess. Bro. Just straight to Godric, I guess. Let's see how the Wingsword Insignia does. I think Winch are the is all right here. I don't know if you the Brooks. That makes sense. Are we going to get a single stagger with this thing? That's the question. Country post with a torch shadlet. Not great, but not awful. We are in the early game. Gonna change for sure later. More weak still. <laughs> well, but anyways, watch this. Oh my! To the deep root. Time to get number five and six. And I guess it's also time to... It's time to kill Gillika. Good try. At least I needed to dodge a few times. Which I thought acquired. Cool. Plus six now. Movic and under Daniel. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Pretty smooth first phase. And bang. There we go. If it wasn't for the first hit, it would have been hitless. Easy GG's. There we go, 35 figure with retro and it's 40. I'm gonna level up endruns, but I need to check how much I need for the armor set. Still have it loaded, even with 25 endruns, okay. We're definitely close. I'm gonna go reach the sword now, I guess. And straight on to the next. My big brother.
That delayed shield swing is annoying as fuck. Charge that jump heavy is definitely better than charge heavy with the torch. Slightly faster, maybe. Not by much though. <laughs> Anyways, easy DDS. At least three sentinel armor is pretty. I like the cape. It's cool as fuck. Not sure about the helmet. All the helmet with these. What are they even called? That thing above the helmet. Not the biggest fan. Whenever the helmet has something like a plume. <laughs> Mohawk, yeah, well, in this case. Uh, it looks like a mohawk, yes. Right, fuck, now kid already fight the gargoyle. And to get our next weapon, then the weapon number 92. I guess we're gonna try it here. I just realized that the thing above the helmet is actually an earth tree. I never really paid any attention to it. Ah, we go. Only needed 29 entrance to be able to wield all this. Now surely we're gonna first try this gargoyle, right? Place is so bugged as well. Not a great arena for this guy. Cute. No way. Oh, I also can't see anything. The camera angle is so shy. Of course, these guys have. Why they cursed hitbox, which is amazing with a weapon like a torch. With a shitty range as well. A lot of whiffs. I'm making excuses. I'm, I'm making excuses, I know. <laughs> nope. The fucking dude, dude guy. Spinning schloss. Nice. 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 Okay. Woo, we did it. Gargoyle's Halibird. That will be weapon number 92. And now it wasn't my idea. <laughs> Thanks, Demon King, for this idea. Really the best way to do this, I think. With the weapons that disappear. Uh, after Malika. Uh, we got actually all right against Goldfring. It's sad that you can't repose with torches. Actually, this run would be deadless if it wasn't for the accident in the hero's grave. Now, finally, I think we're gonna level up some fates. Get some more damage. We're gonna go for Claw Talisman. 
Also, the Black Knife Assassin reminded me. I wanna <laughs> go fight the Invincible Black Assassin with this thing. Yeah, Gary would be the but Black Knife Assassin is over here. Two bosses in this game. Uh, let's go. It's gonna be invisible, right? Well, when I coop it. Yep, there she is. I don't know. This guy's moveset. That well. At least I've played with the black knife. And once we get that weapon, we need to kill the black knife assassin. And Lendl, I got some practice then. These guys are kinda easy when you have a weapon when you can with uh, that you can backstab with. <laughs> but you can't backstab with a torch. Damage is alright though. Nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, it was quite squishy actually. Cool. We could always use the concealing wheel. <laughs> or not. More good next. Fairly easy first try, right? Ah, oh, I hit. More rich sword. We actually have to fight him in the first place. That's rare. Damage wasn't good enough to just absolutely destroy him while he's shackled. That's what usually happens, no matter what weapon. Just tells how shitty torches are. Also, I usually just get at least one stagger. Now I should focus, probably. What the fuck was that attack again? Nice. First try nonetheless. I actually had to fight him this time. That's kinda rare. More fate. No, and I guess we just bump up faith. On to the mountain tops, I guess. Fire chance should be fine, but then it has to get difficult. Guys can do a strike and holy damage is far from optimal. And just shit damage. Shit poise damage. No repost, no bleed. Then Malikat, 80% holy resistance. Then Gideon, which is just a shite against Gideon. And then, well, Godfrey will probably be fine, but Dragon Island Beast also 80% holy resistances. But yeah, it's about time for word of the day. Mohawk. Sure, so I like Mohawk. That in Finnish would be Irokesi. Now, Maligat will be first try for sure. Actually, you know what? If I don't first try Maligat, I'm gonna go to Consecrated Snowfields. I'm that confident. There we go. Plus nine. Boy, a chant. Actually. The damage is alright, I guess. Keep whiffing, just keep whiffing. What? 
Frau das da tritt, ne? How did you fucking do that? Shit. Oh, stuck as for me. Not doing the fire, but there was a moving. Mm, nice. First try, first try. It really is quite annoying that, that we died in that hero's grave. <laughs> Otherwise, it has been deadless, actually. Well, I'm gonna go 30 fate, then actually we go. Now it's time to fight the ghost kingdom. This will be interesting. I gotta actually fight these guys for once. Usually I can just sleep them and then destroy them. Now I can again sleep them. But I won't be able to destroy them, that's for sure. Well, I guess nothing. like five charge dumps and I still didn't get a stagger so basically they are just not worth it, apparently still hitless apostle it's pretty nice We got the stagger and <laughs> nice timing as well. Fucking cancelled Noble's presence with a stagger. Nice, thank you, Apostle, for being so chill. Very good bots today. Haven't based a single bot. Wow, that went surprisingly well actually, what the hell. Easy first try even. I have to say, I've improved significantly. What the fuck?
against the godskins. Kinda nice to know this, that I can actually a lot of fight these guys now. Normally I don't even need to really fight them. I just sleep them and basically cheese them. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm actually getting this talisman. Might need it. Plus 10. Surely I wouldn't die the Malikas, even with a Holy Torch. Probably better to go for Dragon Crest Seal Talisman. And he actually isn't defensive talismans. Not because I'm scared, but because it doesn't make any sense to use Claw Talisman here. Well, let's go. Yeah, kind of dog shit damage, but it is what it is. That was a different attack. Huh. Stop whiffing, please. You're being very kind to them.
Yep. There we go. Hit the second phase, I believe. Not bad. Not bad. GG's. GG's. The damage was completely dog shit. Honestly, I fought Maligate with worst weapons. This is up there <laughs> with some of the worst weapons to fight Maligate with, for sure. But we've had practice. Never died to any of the bosses. Still. Bigger would be nice against LM Beast. Yeah, you know what? We're going 60 bigger as well. Oh, it would be so amazing if this was completely deadless run, but it is what it is. Now, it's Gitch with the fucking Beast Rebel and Torch that took me over 20 rise, I think. I think what we want here is jump attacks. Well, let's go. Torches are absolutely shite against Gideon. For two reasons. R1 doesn't stagger him out of his attacks. So you can't just spam that like what you can usually do with any weapon. And the range is shit. And well, I guess the damage is shit too. For three reasons. Fucking Sorge, man. Constant whiffs. Okay, first ride, Kidian as well. That was definitely tilt involved with the beast repel dodge, yes, I agree. That was a lot of tilting. It's gonna bump up fights. Yes. Good rip. Let's see how this goes. What? Okay, well, I'm just dead. That was really weird. I lost him for some reason when he jumped. That was really weird. I never get hit by that attack. I don't know what happened there. How did I die to this guy twice? Out of all the bosses, I died to this guy twice. I guess I used all my focus against Maligat and Kidea on them. Alright, let's do this for real this time. Ah! That goes hitless again. 
Quatsch. Almost headless. What about we move on? Now Radagon Olympist. Now I gotta be patient with Radagon. Do it very well. Not waste my flasks and we should be fine. Let's go. The damage will be absolutely dog shit. The light is really disturbing, actually. Light from the torch. Wish I could turn it off. For example, there was harder to see the attack. Surely should just fight him bad fist, right? This box is weird. Luckily it's pure holy damage. And we have very good holy resistance. Wha How? I never get hit by that. I don't understand. What happened then? Weird shit, I don't understand. No, why did I die to jump? Uh, that shit have just not created. Samox, thank you so much for four months.
Yeah, well, two flasks against Elden based. It's not great with a weapon like this because there will be multiple Elden stars. I did this very well if we want to be able to first run. I also need good RNG of this thing. That is some dog shit damage from medallion. Swinging at a little outer god with a fucking torch. <laughs> There was any chance for an Elden Star scandal. There isn't any more after that stalling sequence. I still try, I guess. Really? I got the stagger, but already? You're saying there was a chance? You fucking piece of. No fucking way, I didn't pay attention to what he was doing. Still survive one more than stars if we are lucky, but if we get three, we are pretty much doomed. Not as, it's surprisingly easy to get them staggers if you actually do charge heavies. I was trying to just build a poise for a possible Elden Stars cancel. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just kill him, just kill him, just kill him. No. This uh, 
Okay. There we go. It was close. It was fucking close. Oh, we did it. Dragon Elder Beast first try with the Sentry Torch. With two Elden Stars as well. And I had like two flasks against Elder Beast though. Wow. Well, that was surprisingly alright, even though obviously the weapon was complete dog shit, especially late game here. In a way, I enjoyed this run because there was some actual challenge here. Sentry Torch belows, honestly, to the F tier. Even though I did well, I managed to almost do a deadless run even. It goes over here. Bottom of F tier. It was a challenge. It was an actual challenge run. Like, these three were actual challenge runs. And that's about it for today's run. You know the drill, if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, then please hit the like button and some comment down below. It really does help YouTube algorithm to share the videos with others as well. And if you don't want to miss future content like this, then I recommend hitting the subscribe button and follow button on Twitch as well. But thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video with the next weapon. Until then, it is good. Peace.